Alan, tell us about Camp Hideout. Yeah, Camp Hideout. So uh, this is a faith-based movie. Uh, it stars Corbin Blue and Christopher Lloyd, which is a uh, good enough reason to see it. But uh, basically a story of... Um, sorry, let me, I need to pull up the, uh, the IMDb page because uh, I'm just going to screw up all the names. Um, so give me one second here. All right. So it stars a young man, young teen named uh, Jake. Sorry, not Jake, Noah. Uh, he's been kind of hanging out with the wrong people. Uh, he gets a hold, he, he, he hangs out with these gangster dudes. He gets a hold of a, uh, of a Nintendo Switch, although they don't call it that in the movie, um, that has information on it that, that the gangster dudes are uh, protecting. He steals it, um, and, uh, and they, you know, none the wiser. And uh, he goes home, and we find out that he lives kind of in a in a halfway home. Uh, he's been in trouble a lot lately. Um, his uh, parole officer play, uh, is Selena. She uh, she's concerned about him, and uh, decides that the best thing for him is to send him to the church camp that she works at. And so he goes off, not not really interested in being there. Um, and then he learns valuable lessons about friendship. Um, about being honest with your friends, about, uh, you know, just, you know, friendship in general. And, uh, you know, and Corbin Blue is one of the um, one of the counselors there, and he comes alongside Jake. And then the bad guys come to get their Nintendo Switch back, and, uh, and it becomes Home Alone at the end of it. So uh, should you see this movie? Uh, I live in evangelical Southern California in Orange County. And this movie is perfect for that audience. Um, it's safe. It's fun. It's got a positive message. And, uh, you know, it's someone got a Christian message in it. Um, honestly, if you're going to make a Christian movie, I uh, kind of want to see more God in it. Uh, there, there's allusions to it. There's, um, there's you know, they, they, they make, a, they use the parable of the mustard seed as, as a learning lesson. Um, you know, so look. Uh, this this falls right in line with the faith, faith films that I grew up with in terms of quality. Um, it's probably better has better production values. I think it helps that you know you have actual stars in it in Corbin Blue and Christopher Lloyd. So there's money put behind it. Uh, Sean Olson he wrote and directed it. Um, you know so you know if faith films are your thing, this is the one. Um, you know as much as I'm a good Christian, I, I'm not exactly the biggest fan of faith films. Uh, and I felt the same way watching this coming out of the end of it. It's like, okay, you know, it, uh, it, it'll go right up on the shelf with all the other faith films I've seen. But, uh, you know, I, I, you know, look, I live in the city where this is perfect for. I live in the county this is perfect for. And uh, it will make money in our county. All right. Well, uh, I, I, first of all, I may not have been on camera, but I heard your entire review. Uh, yep. I, ha I'm so glad I didn't go see this. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't go. It's just not for me. It's, it's, no, it's not, it's a, it's a family movie. Yeah. So, I mean, look, you could say sound of freedom was a faith film. Um, you know, and, and you, you, that, that just tells you how good it can be, how the genre can be. Um, you know, it's definitely set for the family crowd. It's also set for younger teens. So the, the preteens, I, I don't, I don't see high schoolers exactly. Uh, latching onto this, uh, unless unless you're church going uh, high schoolers, um, but uh, you know it's pretty par for the course for when it comes to faith films.